soon after the Supreme Court decision. Since the proposed amendments to the organic law on political parties and candidates were made public, the Commission and Dr. Gelu himself has been the target of much insinuation. The most glaring being that the Commission was influenced by the current ruling political party, People's National Congress, headed by Prime Minister Peter O'Neill. Dr. Gelu says the amendments were from the Commission's own research and findings. The review started back in 2010, and you know, things really got going in, uh, in, in 2012, where we, we came up with a draft. And it was in 2013, April of 2013, that I took the first draft to the National Executive Council. In fact, you'll find that in the first draft, it was quite um, strong in terms of some of the, the changes we were making. Like, for example, one of the changes that we proposed was that if a member of parliament uh, decides to join another party, that member of parliament automatically loses his or her seat. Mm -hmm. And then they have to go back to the people to vote them back into parliament if they want that particular mm -hmm. member to join another party. But the NEC decided that, no, you can't do that. It's, it's, you know, you don't, you, you, the office of the registry is not mandated to, to determine mm -hmm. Uh, the status of members of parliament. Uh, that it is the people that have given the mandate to the members of parliament to be in parliament. Mm -hmm. So what the NEC directed was for us to go back, have a look at the provision again, and then come up with some changes to it. Uh, so we, 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 we did, the registry did that. The decision was given back to us, we sat down, and in uh, March of 2014, we went back to the NEC, we went through the changes with them and the NEC agreed to it. Since the last parliament session, Dr. Gelu has continued defending the amendments and explaining the addition to section 145 of the constitution, which deals with votes of no confidence. Why, the reason why the registry decided to come with that um, amendment or the addition to section 145 was because we wanted to strengthen that relationship of what we are doing within the organic law and creating that link within the organic law with that particular amendment. The focus for us in the uh, current organic law, in the, sorry, revised organic law, is to strengthen political parties. That what we're trying to do now is to get us out of that old uh, environment mm -hmm. where political parties, you know, does not mean anything to the voters. So what we are saying here is that uh, a political party uh, that is invited to form the government after an election, and a party that has won the majority of seats, should continue to be in office. Section 145 is still there. But in the event that a vote on a confidence is successful against that incumbent prime minister, the first opportunity must be given to that political party. Okay, it must be given to that political party that was invited to form the government. So a nominee for the prime minister must come from within that party. In the event that that party does not have the numbers to elect the new prime minister, then the speaker of parliament will invite the other side to put in a nominee. So that is basically the reason why we came up with that section 145, that amendment to section 145. That's what people say, or like for myself what I'm saying, uh, what I really want to call it is an addition to section 145, and that is to maintain that relationship between the mandate that the people have given to that political party uh, to that particular event when a motion of no confidence is successful. Neville Choi, National MTV News.